In this video, you will learn to create your first automation workflow. Automation workflows are used to automate your repetitive tasks which consumes your time unnecessarily. In Pavli Connect, you can connect different type of software applications together to transfer the data between the applications and put your repetitive tasks on autopilot. To start, click on this create workflow button and give a name to your automation workflow. After that, click on create button and the workflow page will appear like this and here you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. These are the basic building blocks of our automation workflow. Trigger here is that event which is going to start this workflow and make this workflow run. And action is the consequence or the response towards the trigger. So basically automation workflows are based on the conditional logic that when this happens, do this. That means when something happens in one application, do something in another application. For example, here I'll be connecting Facebook pages with Google Sheets so that whenever there is a new post on Facebook page, the data will be saved in our Google Sheet. So in the trigger, I am going to connect my Facebook page. So so Facebook pages is the trigger application and the trigger event would be a new post in the page. So select the trigger event, then click on connect and connect with Facebook page. After getting connected, search for the page name on which you are posting. After that, you have to mention the number of posts that you want to retrieve with each execution of the workflow. So you can fetch 5, 10, 20 or uh, up to 100 posts in one execution of the workflow. So right now I'm just writing one to show you the example. After that click on save and send test request button and a most recent post from your Facebook page will be fetched here in the response section like this. And here you will find all these details about the Facebook page post. So this post is a photo post you can see and this is the picture attached in the post and you can see the full picture link here the icon link the page name okay and the created time of the post is here date and time all right and the media type is photo here you can see the post type as well right so we have this data right now and I want to save the details in my spreadsheet which is here in Google Sheets application and these are the things I want to save the page's name, the post date, the post type and the post content. So for that we are going to connect this spreadsheet in the action step and then select the action event as add new row and then connect with Google Sheets. After getting connected, you have to search for the spreadsheet's name where you want to send the data. Then select the sheet's name and all the fields will appear here which are the headers of the columns that you have in your spreadsheet. Now to send the data, I am going to map the data from the trigger step. So we have received the data from Facebook in the trigger. Now let us map it here in the second action step. So to map the data, you just have to click on the fields like this and the trigger will appear in the drop down and when you click on it the data will appear here only and from the given data you can map the labels that you have received so that's how you can map all the data and these labels that you are mapping here are going to be updated with every execution of the workflow and new data will be sent every time with the new posting of facebook post so we are done mapping the data. Now you can check your connection with Google Sheets by clicking on save and send test request button. And as you click on save and send, the data will be sent to the Google Sheet. You can check it here. So this is how it is going to work. The data is here on the spreadsheet. Okay. So this is how you can create the automation workflow in Pabli Connect without any coding very easily.